Here's a look at some of the new functionality in the next release. The RPWS login credentials have been moved from the contact properties into the RPWS setup window. All login credentials are now in one place and you can control the use of this window via an operator privilege. Activity types can now be configured for RPWS. Previously, all activities were available in RPWS. Using a new option, you can decide which activities can be used. For iPhone app users, we've improved the barcode scan import window. You can now view the list of pending bookings and click on the booking to view the pending items. Previously, the window restricted users to processing the booking that was listed at the top of the list. We've improved it so you can process any booking in the list. Did you know that you can change the status of a heading to Outside Supplied? Outside Supplied means that all equipment within the heading is supplied by a third-party company and will not affect your availability. When checking out a booking, items within the Outside Supplied heading will display in the cross-rental grid for easy identification. We've now made it even easier to locate a booking in the Crew Planner. Simply find your booking in the Booking Grid, right-click, and select Crew Planner. This option opens the Crew Planner with all your crew assignments listed. Identifying contacts in the booking is also easier with the use of color coding. The booking contact is now highlighted in orange, and the payment contact is highlighted in green. Ever wanted to preview a document and modify it before you sent it to a client? The RTF Preview option is finally here. You can now select a template, preview and make changes, save those changes, and send the final revision to the client. For clients that use project billing, you can now select the project invoice date. Multi-location clients have the option of enabling Operational Parameter 129. This parameter prevents items from displaying in the tree view if stock levels are zero. We've added three improvements to this parameter. If you're using generic items, you can decide if you'd like zero stock generic items to display. If you're using packages, you can decide if you'd like to display packages that have components with zero stock. And finally, if you're using macros, you can decide if you want to display macros that have components with zero stock. The booking entry date is now available as a column in the booking grid. Simply enable the column via Operational 183, then use the column order right-click utility to drag and drop the column where you need it. The warehouse out date is now available on the overdue for return report. We've made it even easier to connect with our support staff. A new option in the help menu automatically sends your config files to our support team. These files are usually required to help diagnose any issues you may be having with the software. With a couple of clicks, you can send the required files without having to search your computer. RentalPoint now exports to Account Edge 2015. In some cases, the 2015 version may be compatible with previous versions of Account Edge. Check your Account Edge documentation for details. Ever entered payment information, then realized you picked the wrong payment type? and now you have to delete and re-enter the payment? Well, worry no more. You can now edit the payment details via the account window.